Boko Haram was evil but couldn't fight or protest because we could have been killed. As the internet is still awash following news of repentance, I swap Boko Haram members begging Nigerians for forgiveness. Modu Malaram, a former fighter, has explained why he and others surrendered to the Nigerian army. According to reports, Modu Malaram is among the Boko Haram fighters who surrendered to Operation Hadin Kai in Konduga, Bono State. Speaking at the event, Malaram said that some of them were picked from their villages as teenagers and forced to join the terrorist group. Following the disarray and leadership of the terror group, he and others resorted to escaping from their forest camps. Going further, he said that all these, while they knew Boko Haram is evil, but couldn't protest or fight because they could have been killed. Those who attempted to run away were caught and executed in their presence, Modu said. On why they publicly surrendered to the army, Malaram said that the division between the terrorist groups distracted their commanders and gave him and others the boldness to quit membership of his sect of the sect. He also added that the death of Shekau and area bombardments by the military forced many of them to come out and surrender. What is your opinion on this matter? That is what the article ends at. Okay, cool. Um Yeah being objective yes it is very much possible 100 percent that young boys were picked up from the villages and were put in there um and i think that it's a hard this is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say stay here it's that it's easy for the ninja or any government to actually know what to do with this because there's a different thing with okay fine if you intended to be part of it or you were conscripted or yeah basically conscription is like you're forced and then um you're threatened and traumatized so you have to go into flow because you don't want to die um but then how do we trust your intentions um yeah so if anything i think it's gonna be hard but these people need to be put especially where investigation they dig deep into the workings and the you know mechanics of how the terrorist group worked and then will give the military even more info on how to properly finish and end banditry and terrorism in the country so i think that is where they would be useful instead of just jailing them at first obviously we're not gonna put them absolutely not i don't think they should be put back in society not that they're not they don't deserve that but first of all they need to go to therapy they need to go through so many things in terms of unlearning certain things um, and just clearing of their minds and yet yeah, they should be used you know utilized properly so they could be given or they can give hints to the nigerian army on how to properly you know um defend the country and just end banditry once and for all because again they said that a lot of them wanted to repent because you know shakao being their leader had died so i guess that's a good thing in a way um, let's look at the comment section. Someone says the Nigerian army should test them by arming them, give them air cover, and go and attack Boko Haram commanders since they know where the animals are. If they fight gallantly and kill them, then they should be de-radicalize de and set them free. If they fail to attack the commanders, Nigerian air force should simply bomb al <laughs> bomb them along with their commanders. Shikena. All right. I mean, very intense, but I think this is just going along the lines of what I said. You know, you have to, of course, they are recognizable, of course, they're all that. So I think they should be put in a special place where, um, put in a special place where they are investigated, as in they are drilled on questions on how it works. And of course, that's what's going to be. Someone here says, this is just to distract people from not demanding for 400 accused sponsors that was arrested. Please, Malami, we are waiting. Hmm? Okay, I'm not even sure about where that is coming from, but if anyone can explain where that update is coming from, please put that in the comment section. Another one here says, hang all of them. Yeah, you're in a democracy. 
I don't think that's how it works. Um, obviously, these are all opinions, but again, if a lot of Nigerians do feel like this, and I'm like, uh, we say that our government does not really, you know, follow democracy, but then we ourselves, we don't sometimes, I mean, our characters do not, or the things that we say do not reflect that um, we are ourselves are democratic. So, yeah, it's a bit, it is very shady. Somebody here says, um, and this dangerous tree has started to grow in the southeast. I'm calling on every reasonable senior citizen in the southeast to come together and engage our young oh and engage our youth sincerely, honestly, with great commitment, or else these angry youths take over power. We are finished. Why is this word angry always associated with the youth? Angry youth take over power. Who are the angry youths that are gonna take over power? Because Really and truly, the older generation that has refused to leave the power have not even given a chance for the youth to go in there. So where is this fear coming from? Um, but then this is not going on a tangent. This does not even have to do with the news. So, of course, um, these people have been arrested. Well, they've been captured. Of course, they surrendered. Um, and I guess, you know, Shekau's death is a good thing because like, it, it has allowed for these people to surrender. And... Again, the government they have to be smart. If they can use their intelligence team to get Inam Dikano and understand his, you know, his traveling, his bearings, and then you know, able to extradite him to Nigeria, come on, this intelligence team is very much capable of using this as leverage and using this as a big opportunity for them to basically, you know, um, for them to basically finish and end off in securing the country because now they would have an idea of how these you know organizations work and that would be the best way for them to be infiltrated um saying this we cannot assume and undermine the fact that okay possibly these organizations are also very much aware of course they'd be aware of the political atmosphere in the country um and so maybe they might also have to be strategized but we are truly yeah that's what they have to do and then when it's over you know then they can decide what to do with these people um but then you are gonna have have proper identity identification and um we're not talking just some liquid like, like what your name is going to be on record your biometrics on record you cannot hide like your identity the on record so we now know basically the same way you you have a criminal record or you're convicted it's the same way you were an ex-terrorist Remember, that's what it is. We move. Poor, I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe.